Hello, this is Luke G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Arc! Since last time, I used the MP seed that I bought for kind of Wu there, and now we gotta head to Cedar Woods. Oh, okay. I was wondering if that would say what day of the week it was, but now apparently not. Not that it's that relevant now. The kids are going off on their own anyway. Probably getting into trouble. Running into monsters and all that. Gotta do Cecile's job for her. And I'm not even getting paid for it either. What gives, game? Now, if you recall, we got some directions to get through Cedar Woods. So we have to use that to get through the place. So I guess you gotta go through Cedar Woods to get the soda hole or whatever that is. Oh, um, yeah, that's why I was looking what day of the week it was, but I guess, I don't know if it's camping day or not, but we're going to go through it anyway. That's, well, I guess it is camping day because we can get through this place. I don't believe you. So let's just take the directions that we got up, right, down, up. And boom, we make our way to the end. Hooray! I'm not a kid. How tough could it possibly be? Answer, very. I have no idea what any of that has to do with one another, but okay. So now, if you recall, the kids were saying last time that they were going to go to Blind Alley after taking care of their business at Cedar Woods or Soda Hole or whatever they were doing. So, yeah, we gotta find the kids over here now. And I'll just tell you, all the ones that went here, they're in one house. They're not outside. Hey, how's it going? Take a look at what? What you got? Oh, um, yeah, I can't solve it either. Intuition is not my strong suit when it comes to riddles. Um, okay, yeah, sure. There's a couple fireplaces at the manor, but I know which one it is. So I'll just head straight there. Sounds like a plan. Shouldn't you guys go home, though? Oh, no, I didn't want to go there. I want to go back to the manor. Let's try that one again. Okay, the fireplace that we are looking for is in the back of the dining room where Cecile is all the time for some reason. Yeah, not that one. I don't know why the answer to the riddle is over here, but it makes about as much sense as anything else in the game. Oh, really? What's that? Okay, I'm not sure what any of those have to do with Pimento Pilaf, but okay, that's the answer. So now let's head back to Cedar Woods. Hopefully, my second trip will be as uneventful as the first one. Even though, yeah, we got monsters on the overworld now. I guess that's why Cecile doesn't want the kids playing outside or something, but evidently, that's not stopping them. They're not afraid of anything. They should be, but they're not. By the way, in Cedar Woods here, there's a new enemy that I'm probably not going to run into called uh, Bloody Rose. They're just like the one that we met up with in the forest before. They're highly resistant to most elements except fire. So you would want to use like Fireball against them. And they got a lot of HP, too. You can't turn them into a figurine, though, so don't even worry about that. And Vince just says the same thing that I just, or he just told us a moment ago. But all right. 
Hey, hey, all right. Sounds like a plan. I wish we could have come here earlier so I could just... Well, you'll see in a moment, but I could just warp to this place. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, we got the save point one room into the place. Thanks, Kim. But it's not a long trip to walk all the way over here anyway. There is that travel book or whatever it was in the library that you could use to warp here, but I don't want to spend the money to do that. What the? Yeah, and besides, you just saw, I mean, there's no... It's really no battles on the way. I mean, it's pretty easy to avoid the enemies in such a wide open area. But, yeah, we lost our crystal. Nuts. So, we can't see where the battles are. So now the battles are really going to be random. At least from our perspective. But we can get some cookies that they left around here. I would think they would have soda around here. Maybe they want the cookies here to lure out the children or something. I don't know. First things first, yeah, just keep on collecting more cookies. You don't need them, but they're a good idea. Yeah, I like the little transparency effect they got in the water there. But all right, we got two new enemies here. Oh, cow. See, Death Marmalade, those guys can poison you. They can also cast more health, so you want to watch out for that. And then we got Stompus in the back there, which is basically the same thing as a troll, but stronger. So that's why Stompus is the boss, at least from the earlier middle. Fortunately, pretty much every enemy here has no resistance to elemental damage, but for some godforsaken reason, I can't hit them with my magic. I don't know why that is. What is my magic? Yeah, I got a massively higher magic stat than all these guys. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but we do want to take out the Death Marmalade so that way they can't poison us. I only have a few antidotes with me. Though you could also use Magnesia's uh, Cure Spell to cure the poison. But she'd only be able to use that on Felice and herself, not any of my other allies. So, that doesn't really do me any good. But yeah, the rest of these guys we can take care of pretty easily. I would like to tap off Amirian's MP. Because I'm going to want to use her for the boss of this area. So let's start draining some MP. All these guys are really good sources of MP draining, and it's not like these guys are going to be damaging us very much anyway. If I need healing, I would have Mirian use the heal spell, because she can regenerate her MP, while Felice cannot. Let's see, Stampus can cast Ice Wall, while the trolls up front there, they can cast Ice Rock now, but with the... What is it? The troll suit and the gobsmet equipped on Felice. She'll be virtually immune to ice damage. And Mirienne has 45% uh, resistance to ice with the cotton robe and 20% with the triangle hat there. So, I mean, she's not immune to it, but she's not going to take that much damage from it anyway. We get another seed, but I'll save that for later. I'll use that on Felice later on, but not right now. Hmm, okay, well, if you remember, there was a clue we got earlier about which treasure was the best one, and this is it. Hmm, I wonder why that is. I don't believe you. Well, first things first, let's take the Sensetsukan, which is a type of nunchuck, at least in this game. So, yeah, it's a little better than the boomerang there. Alright, let's see what happens if I try to open another chest. I want more treasure. What's the worst you could possibly do? Whoa! Holy crap! I can't even heal myself? Oh, wow. 
So, is that all of us or just me? Not. Can I, like, walk? Well, I'm not dying from the poison, but yeah, you can't get multiple treasures. So, don't worry about it. The other two just contain items that I don't really care about. Let's see, it is a speed bottle in the one on the left, and I think it's an MP restoring item in the one on the right. I forget which one that is. But whatever, it's not important. Well, we got a, I think that's a type of bow and arrow weapon. But you don't get as much of a benefit from the light arc on bows as you do katanas. So I'm not going to give that to Tokyo. But you could if you wanted. Yeah, I have another plan for Tokyo. Alright, and after that battle, getting a level for Mirian to learn the slow spell to reduce the speed stat of enemies. I never used that. Yeah, it's not very good, but... Let's see, with the two caves up there, the one on the left leads to a dead end, so don't worry about it. Can never have enough empty bottles. Too bad I can't get more of those at the mansion anymore. Or manor, whatever. Same difference. Okay, there's nothing down there. Huh. I wonder why they're saying that again. Wasn't that obvious? I guess they just wanted to reiterate that or something. I don't know. But alright. Let's see. From here, let's go up. You don't have to, but we got another save point up here, so we might as well take advantage of that. You can never have enough save points, but I would like to take this opportunity to put the foundation seed to use. Hopefully, I, I should be able to guarantee it, its effectiveness. I've been having a little bit of trouble with the seeds lately, but... Let's see. Okay, so we got foundation seed. Ha-ha! All right. That'll help us out a little bit coming up here. Oh, maybe that's why they have that message in this room. In case you, like, just started up a... Or reloaded your file. I suppose they might have also been concerned if you warped out to heal up and then came back to maybe bypass the curse or whatever but all right now here we got a, not really a puzzle room but i guess the idea is you're supposed to sit here and just wait around but from what i heard the way this room works is there's like an invisible tile in this room and it's moving around randomly so if you just stand still i suppose eventually it would bump into you and then you'd be able to get this treasure Save that for later, viewers. We're going to want that for the mixture back at Blind Alley. But I don't want to put it in there just yet. I don't know if it matters, but let's just hold on to it just to be safe. But alright, took care of that. This is the last room with random encounters in the dungeon. Alright, we get a little upgrade there for luck. Although, I suppose anyone could equip a metal helmet. Most of ours would be, but alright. Yeah, it only works for Lux. I think all of his equipment is exclusive to him. Okay, before going in up there, what do we got? Okay. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. I've been keeping Mirian's MP topped off, so I think we're good to go. Whoa. So that's the Hydra they were talking about in the book there. Uh, how about I make you taste the rainbow? For boss time against the Aqua Hydra, or Water Hydra, depending on your translation. But alright, this guy being, well, a water and elemental. Guess what element this guy is susceptible to? If you say ice, I'm gonna hit you. But now he is susceptible to fire! And very resistant to all other elements. Oh, you know, there's one thing I forgot to do. Let's see, I want to remove 
the silent shackle there to bring my speed back up a little bit. Because this guy has pretty good speed stat of 74 or 64. So I want to get my speed stat up to at least 75. So that way I can pretty well guarantee my accuracy with my physical attacks. And yeah, with the light arc on my weapon, yeah, we can deal pretty good damage with that. Although that was a pretty weak hit. Now, Ice Chain there, that spell he just cast on us, that could deal upwards of 50 damage to Miriam. So if her HP drops below 50, I'm going to want to heal her up. Felice is virtually immune to ice elemental damage because of the troll suit and gobsmith that I have equipped on her. Okay, but now, yeah, we're going to need some help. So yeah, as you can see, Felice, the only thing she's worried about is her accuracy against the water hydra. I suppose I could also use that Meteor Bottle against the guy that I picked up earlier, but Fleece can deal, well, reasonably comparable damage to it, so why bother wasting it here? I'm not worried about the damage from physical attacks. It could deal, like, upwards of, like, 40, 41 damage, something like that. But yeah, nothing to worry about. Just make sure everyone stays above 50 HP and you'll be good. Wow, you are casting that a lot. You didn't cast that very much when I was practicing earlier. Not that it really matters, but it is there. And we can't drain the guy's MP either because, well, they're a boss. They're immune to that sort of thing. So just use the good old brute force method. And buffing the speed helps. I suppose you don't have to, but it is nice to not miss. You know how I hate missing viewers. Oh, for some reason I thought Fireball cost 10 MP. Yeah, this guy has 1100 HP. But with Fireball, we can make quick work with him. You want to make sure you save... Well, actually, I don't know that you need to save... MP for Felice. I was thinking about that for, like, the Warp Gate spell, but I think I can just use the crystal to get out of this place. But alright, can never have enough levels. Yeah, Lux isn't gonna get anything useful for a little while. Oh, nice! Just in time, too. He learns the kill spell, which is instant death, but his magic stat is pretty bad, so I don't really use Tokyo for that. But I do use him for Illusion Strike, one of the most obscenely overpowered abilities in the game. It's essentially another fight command that deals two attacks instead of one full attack power damage. No damage reduction at all, like the Flurry ability does. It is really, really good. Not to mention with the power buff. And we got sick there. Let's see. I forget which... I know it's a debuff, but I forget which one. We got Aura there. That's the magic stat buff of the game. And she's the only one who gets that, oddly enough. Unlike every other buffing spell in the game, usually at least two people get them, but not Aura. Let's see. Sick. Yeah, I don't know what that does. I'd have to look it up, but I never use it. Let's see. Sure, why not? If you say no, you just get kicked out of the room and yeah, they won't you won't be able to rescue the kids. Hey, hey all right. Don't answer that, viewers. Uh well, yeah, you were kind of going to die. Well, where are you going then? Hey, get back here! Oh, yeah, I could have, uh, Miriam take care of that. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Huh? Well, where'd the kids go? Hmm. 
I don't know. But, well, I've gotten everything here that I care about, so let's just report our progress back at the manor, I guess. Whoa. What's with that music? It kind of sounds like dungeon music. But we already got the epic boss music for the final boss of the world here. What's going on? Find out next time on Let's Play Mystic Art. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.